tribe, I missed you, uh, even though I recorded another video just a few minutes ago. But uh, uh, this one is about the audiobook. Uh, specifically, it's about uh, book six, um, the, the, the audiobook uh, for Superhuman that uh, I know a lot of you have been waiting for. and. Um, a lot of people were really interested in that one for the Kickstarter, and uh, and if you prefer audiobooks to ebooks, or even if you just love audiobooks, I, I understand uh, why you would really want to get your hands on that one. Um, the story behind what's going on with the audiobook is something that uh, I was keeping really to myself, uh, just between me and and my publisher, but. Um, I, I decided, and this is what I mean about uh, feeling a little untethered. Uh, is uh, yeah, why not just why not just let you know? Um, so uh, I can let you know, really, pretty much everything. Uh, I haven't signed a, an NDA or anything, um, so I can let you know a fair amount, but uh, I won't talk about percentages or or anything because I. I understand that they're negotiating with other authors, and uh, as a as a professional courtesy, I'll I'll keep gauche details like that out. But uh, I can I can tell you the the fundamentals of uh, of what's happening and what I think is going to end up happening, um, and what it would take for that not to be what actually ends up happening. So, uh, okay, so recap. I do have an audiobook publisher. In fact, uh, every audiobook I have is through the, the same publisher. This is because, uh, for whatever reason, Amazon and Audible uh, were very, very slow at uh, bringing in any countries other than the United Kingdom and the United States uh, as far as allowing um, audiobooks that uh, uh, were indie published onto their platform. Uh, so I was very interested in doing an audiobook, but um, uh, we discovered that uh, I couldn't. I just didn't qualify because I'm based in Canada. Uh, and uh, I guess uh, a few months after we originally discovered that, um, I got a I got an offer from a major publisher, uh, and. Uh, I decided that I would I would just take the offer uh, that they that they gave me, and the reason I decided to do that was because I felt that anything was better than nothing. Uh, I was either not going to make anything from my books, or um, maybe uh, maybe I would make a little bit. And uh, of course, they uh, suggested that they would be able to help in in other ways because they would be. Uh, more connected to Hollywood and and uh, um, would be interested in, in helping to get the the posthuman series turned into uh, films. Uh, uh, I I liked the the guys that I was working with. Um, since then, there's been total turnover at the company, and I still like them as a publisher. Uh, they've grown a lot. They've become really. They're even bigger than they than they were before. Um, I had a conversation with them December twenty third. Uh, it was actually the last thing I did before one of one of my major relapses. Uh, literally later that night, I I was just out. But um, but I was able to have that uh, that conversation. It was a Zoom call and. Um, what I what I learned, but I, I had a suspicion anyway beforehand was that um, when I signed my deal, the deal was for uh, six books, and um, and they were it was for posthuman books, and uh, the uh, the deal was not uh, it 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 wasn't generous, uh, that's for sure, um, but it was uh, it was something. And uh, in the sixth book, when I delivered it, that was uh, that was really going to be the end of the contract. I, I would have uh, fulfilled it. Um, 
when they saw how long the book is, uh, they liked the idea of being able to split it into two. Uh, even if you split it in half, each one would still be longer than any of the other audiobooks in the in the series. Um, that is something that I would be open to, uh, even though obviously I wanted it to all be one one narrative. Um, so that's not really the sticking point. Um, the sticking point so far is that even though we're still under contract, uh, I have an out clause that's coming up, and uh, it's coming up um, late in the summer this year. And if I trigger that, uh, then uh, my publisher um, won't have the rights to the, the books that they've already produced anymore and uh, and won't have the right to book six either. And so they felt, and I, and I think it's pretty reasonable actually, that uh, they would like to um, re-sign uh, for, for another seven years. Uh, and uh, and their offer was the same as the last deal. And, uh, and that's the sticking point, um, that uh, uh, it, it doesn't make any sense for me to sign um, a deal that uh, wasn't generous the first time around uh, and to, to sign it again and be stuck for seven years and have my uh, my most valuable property in the hands of a publisher when now Canadians can publish. Um, they can create their own audiobooks and also the fact that Jenny and I have done uh, professional sound design and can absolutely make uh, the new books incredible. Um, Bray Chase wouldn't be able to come back for a sixth one. He's retired from doing audiobooks. Uh, so uh, it was going to be someone new anyway. And, uh, and so at this point, I'm, I'm leaning to, toward triggering that out clause. Um, what it would require for that publisher to keep me would just be a much better deal. Uh, we'd keep the first five books, and then the sixth would be, uh, would be under them and uh, we could figure it out, but um, but it would have to it would have to be much better. Uh, and uh, until they offer something like that, and they might at the last moment, um, but until they offer something like that, we're just in a, at a standstill right now. So currently, um, my prediction for what is going to end up happening is that I mean it would take quite an offer uh, to to keep me. Uh, so the chances are that what's going to happen is I'll probably trigger it in September and uh, very quickly there'll be new books and this will be uh, all six of the books uh, and that uh, those books will be David Simpson produced books um, and uh, and I, I think they're going to be pretty awesome and it's why uh, we did the, the God Killers um, short uh, short clips that we I, I put some on TikTok, but we also uh, uh, put some samples up on, on YouTube and you can check those out um, because I wanted to see what the reaction would be. I wanted to see uh, how good our audiobooks could be. And uh, it appears to me that they, they can be very, very good and, uh, and not only reach the level of what my publisher is doing, but I think it'll actually exceed it. Um, and. Uh, and quite frankly, I just think Jenny and I are, are just better at marketing than, than publishers that we've seen. So I think um, I think that's probably what's going to happen. So what that means is that the audiobook, um, while it could come out earlier, uh, and it just honestly, I mean, if anyone from that publisher happens to see this, uh, it just honestly is just going to take a heck of a good offer. That's basically it. Uh, you have to somehow make it not worth doing all the work to do it myself. Um, and uh, what I'm being offered right now is nowhere, nowhere close. I did get one really great thing though from working with that publisher, and that's uh, that's this. Um, I don't think it would surprise anybody that uh, that uh, awards, literary awards, are um, just like the film festivals, are really more about just promoting the work of the publisher, really. Um, and so, if you're if you're not with a publisher, that you're, there's really no incentive. There there isn't a, an impartial panel of judges that's really uh, choosing which which stuff is the best. Uh, it's the same with the Oscars. The same with 
the Golden Globes with anything like that. It's, uh, it's sort of a negotiation, you know, who should who should get it, which industry uh, insider should get it, and so uh, because Podium is a is a really well established um, industry insider, uh, I actually had a book up for. Uh, an award and and shocked myself by winning because uh, if I'd known I was going to win, I would have been there for sure. It was in LA. William Shatner was the host. Uh, could have met Cap Kirk, and I didn't. Um, I I should have believed that I would have won, uh, but uh, didn't want to go all the way down there and and lose. Um, but uh, it means a lot to me. It means that I can always say that. Uh, the post-human series is best-selling but also award-winning and uh and so to me uh it's kind of nice it's uh it's almost worth the fact that i didn't make very much money from them <laughs> almost maybe not quite but it's uh but it, it's a really wonderful thing so that's the story of what's going on with the audiobooks and uh and that's the story of today's video and uh i'm gonna make sure i cut this one short now too uh but um I'll be back tomorrow uh, with uh, with another video. Uh, I mean, as long as my health is okay, uh, and I'll, I'll let you know what I'm continuing to work on. Um, smash that uh, thumbs up button uh, to help the video, and also, uh, yeah, leave leave a comment. Um, and uh, I do promise that as soon as uh, as soon as I can type again uh, without without pain, I'll uh, I'll respond to those. I am reading them, and uh, I love reading them. And I know a lot of people are audiobook fans. Um, uh, if you've got questions, ask. Uh, if you've got comments, um, suggestions, uh, um, let me know. Okay, tribe. See you in the next one.